Okay, so now Rack is back in Bangkok, but this time he brought Masamud along with him. Yes, he paid him a whole bunch of money, but as he always says, I can afford it. So, and it didn't take Masamud a lot of convincing. I mean, after all, it's a pretty good deal. You get to go to Bangkok, you get to live with the guy that you like, the rich guy that you like at that. All accommodations paid for, all expenses paid for, plus a monthly salary, and you get to bang him. <laughs> I mean, say less. Masamo was like, sign me up. Even though he's got his own little side hustles on the island, the money that he's making from those, I would assume pales in comparison to what Rock is offering him. So Masamud is living the life he's set. Even though he doesn't seem to be the type that is only about money. But then again, I don't know. We just met this guy too. I'm kind of sad though that they're leaving the island because I really enjoyed the views and the, the whole island vibes and just being with the locals. I love that. But we knew that this was coming. We knew that Rock is eventually gonna head back to the main city because he was only here to get inspired and now that he's back everyone's got a lot of adjustments to do and the one who's having the toughest time to nobody's surprise is Mook even if she's not doing anything she already seems stressed out I think that's just her baseline that's just her but seeing her boss bring in a complete stranger to his house and told her that he's gonna be staying with me that just sent her to a complete panic mode she's like who is this guy why is he here we can't trust him you just met him what if he has STDs? <laughs> so she was panicking. I mean, these are valid concerns. She's right. They really don't know Masamud. And after all, Rax only known Masamud for two weeks. I mean, granted, Rax's friend knows Masamud, and to some degree, I'm sure he trusts Masamud. At least he trusts him enough to take care of Rax while Rax is on the island. So his friend knows Masamud, but. Rack doesn't. And especially for Mook, Masamut is a complete stranger to her. I think her reaction was valid, I think. Aside from the fact that she gets stressed out easily, but this is a, a huge change and it's a, it's a huge adjustment that she has to make because she's naturally protective of her boss and his reputation. So I'm sure she's thinking beyond even just his safety. How is this going to be perceived? How is this going to affect his work and whatnot. Again, we don't know this person and now all of a sudden he's in your house. It's not setting well with Mook and I totally understand. Although sometimes I feel like she needs to chill a little bit, but in this case, I, I think her reaction and her concern and the way she's responding to this new change I think is warranted. I thought it was really interesting though that she brought up the possibility that this stranger who is sleeping with her boss might have STDs. I mean, it's true. I mean, it might be a little too late now because assuming that Mutt was infected, I'm sure Rack would have already caught it. But still, it's just a responsible and safe thing to do. Again, it was a valid concern and I'm glad that Masamu didn't really take offense to that and was very compliant and welcoming of the testing. And I'm glad that he's clean. So imagine if he wasn't, that would have been messy. But I'm glad that they brought up the topic of STDs and the importance of testing. I think that might be the first for me seeing that in a BL series. I've seen people bring up protections and whatnot, but when it comes to actual diseases or, or just the topic of STDs in general, I don't remember seeing that in any other BL series. At least from what I can remember. So I thought that was cool. Although I'm a little unclear as to what the reason or the purpose of the agreement, the cohabitation agreement that Mook presented to Masamut. And I may not be understanding it correctly or fully, but Vrak is basically saying, you know, I'll pay you a whole bunch of money to stay with me, to sleep with me, but you can't fall in love with me. I'm a little unclear as to why this is necessary. In his contract, he says that he's gonna pay him uh, an X amount of money, and he's gonna pay for all his expenses, he can live here for free pretty much. On top of that, he gets a monthly salary. And if he wants to go to school, Rack is gonna pay for it. And basically saying, whatever it is that you need financially, I got you. But I can't remember Mosamot asking for any of these. He really didn't ask for money. He's not asking for Rack to pay for his school. He's not even, express interest in going back to school. So why all these things? I just feel like Brack is having difficulty asking him to stay and he feels like he has to shell out a whole bunch of money just for him to stay because I feel like he's learned this from his parents where his dad would demand money from his mom in order for him to stay and as soon as mom ran out of money then dad left. 
So it's sad that it's still affecting him to this day, what happened to his parents. Anyway, that is it for us today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your time before you go. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then, I will see you later.